Hello. We are finished with work, energy, and power. We got to see that they are interrelated. A body can do work if it has energy. And how much work you do in a certain amount of time is what we call the power. We finish with that. Today we are going on to pressure. Now let's see what pressure is. This is Bayern Munich playing against Dortmund. That is not what we want to learn for today, but we want to talk about pressure. Now in this small square here, there's a lot of pressure on the ball. The reason is because a lot of force is being applied in a very, very small area of the pitch. When the ball comes to this side, the pressure will be much less. The reason is because the area is larger and then the force being applied is smaller. So right now we've seen that pressure deals with two things. One is the force that is being applied. Several forces are going to be applied. Several efforts are going to be applied. Okay. So if you get the ball in this section, it will be harder to keep the ball. And then the area in which the forces are acting is also very important. Now let's come to a much more physics explanation. Over here, we have four blocks each, or we have eight cubic blocks, or eight cubes. Now we can arrange this in two forms. In the first arrangement, they've been arranged two by two by two. In the second arrangement, we have one by two by four, or one times two times four. Okay. Now, in this one, the area that the blocks are covering is much larger. In the second one, the area that the force is being applied is much smaller. So here, it is the same force, but the area is larger in this one. The area is smaller in the second one. So pressure in the second one will be greater than pressure in the first 2 by 2 by 2 arrangement. So let's see the definition of pressure then. Pressure is defined as the force per unit area. The force also refers to the weight exerted by a body on the surface of another. So force per unit area is what we call pressure. Force being applied per unit area. Force being applied per unit area. Force being applied per unit area. So in this case, the area over here is 4 because it is length times breadth. In this case, the area over here is 2 because it is length times breadth. That is what we call pressure. Now, force is also equal to the weight exerted by a material. And then weight is equal to the mass times the gravity. Remember, force is equal to mass times acceleration. Acceleration or gravity is another form of acceleration.